start the uh, the changeover for uh, Rosie, and I'm going to be sticking on my uh, EU uh, turn signal lights lenses I got from my buddy Sam over in uh, Germany, known uh, on the forum as uh, T Max Men. So, I mean, thanks for the hat too, Sam, and all the other goodies in the bag. Uh, so we're going to get on with changing it out. We've got already got the bolts done. Um, so I'm going to come in from the top. I'm going to go look and see how the battery, if it's wiggled around. And I've had a lot of bumpy rides this summer. Just check everything and then pull off the side panels as we need to take off the lower panel on both sides here, with the, uh, the uh, tuning fork panel on both sides to get access into it. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and uh, start taking some stuff off. Okay, we have a little refresher course here. You've got the two push pins. They're up under the nose here. Pull back up on the edges here. These come off, and then move your fingers down and pull. There's some little latches down in front here that are, that are fun to pull at sometimes, but you got the two little projections here that fit into these, these rubber mounting plates. So that's the first part. We need to take off the, uh, the uh, uh, tuning fork uh, symbol. It's not that hard. You've got to put, you have to pull off the, the plate here. And there's two, one right down here, Phillips screws, which I tightened pretty good last time from the 4,000 mile checkup. And then that panel starts coming loose up in here. Let me go around the front. There's three push pins on the front we have to pull out. There's three of them, one down at the bottom, one in the middle, and then one up at the top. Use your bent nail to uh, push in the little center pin. Yeah, come on. One. Sometimes you have to use your, your finger to figure out where it's at. Two. And the third one's up in behind here. Sometimes have problems with these between the metal clips and going into the little slots, which will go into the new lens openings. So we've got those off, and this should get us access for as much as we can get to because the headlights are in the way, trying to come down from from above. So let's see where we go from here. Okay, <laughs> it came out. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to get to two. There's two uh, plastic screws that go back up, up in here, and I didn't think I was going to be able to get them out. Hmm. And uh, you've got to take. There's a uh, 10 millimeter bolt that goes into the front up on the front here. Once you pull that out, then this piece can move out a little bit. So now we've got this off, and I don't know. If there's a special secret to pulling this. There's a little uh, latch here you lift up, which comes off a peg right here, and then you pull out. Now you got this little triangle part. I tried calling uh, my local Yamaha dealer to see if I could get the plug, and they don't uh, sell those. I, maybe if you know the secret password, uh, you might be able to get them, but they say they only come on the ends of uh, equipment, and the other half comes on the harness, which on this case is plugged into the main harness, and so uh, you would be able to, I guess if you can find the wrecked one, take the harness that goes from the main harness to the headlight, which also seg uh, has the uh, uh, turn signal winker lights plug on it too. So now we got this rascal off. Uh, I notice I'm going to have to pry off the uh, wire holder here uh, because uh, Sam kept his... <laughs> So it should should come off and then restick again because there's a spot on the inside of the uh, the shiny one. So let me uh, get the other one off. And okay, got the right hand side off. It's a little more difficult. Uh, I got uh, the uh, uh, 
lower shroud in the way, but also the uh, hose in here. Let me get in close for all you curious people. Here's your uh, your water filler right here, the cap, pressure cap comes down. The water should be uh, from when uh, let's go back here. When uh, one of the members was having uh, uh, hot water or overheating problems, you've got this little hose right here in behind that comes down to the little overflow tank. Uh, that's only just a few ounces down there to top up. So if you have a problem where you need to see whether or not you've got uh, a lot of water, it's just like it. Ah. Now, I'm curious now that I'm looking at it. Okay, it's a push down. Okay, it's right at the top. It's right at the bottom of the of the wide spot here is where the antifreeze is. So okay, one of the things you want to do is take your strippers, strip back the leads, hook your meter up, and find out which one is the uh, uh, low uh, or the running light and which one's the turn. Some of the things I did in the uh, took my service manual out and I tell you this is a great boon for anybody to have just to check do your own work and also to check on the mechanic that ain't pulling your leg. But it's got a nice full color diagram in the back. And down here is where the flasher turn signals are. And it's uh, coming in on the flashing part is uh, coming out of the switch out of the scoot. It's uh, green and brown but going into the parts that we're worried about both lights are green for the flashers and also the uh, the right hand one when you're setting on the uh, on the bike uh, the right hand one has a black plug and the left hand one has a white or a gray plug but they're both wired the same uh, colors so now we'll need to uh, check and because I can't get um, replacements for the plugs I'm going to uh, pull the tape back that comes on the inside of these and then clip them and then I'm going to uh, solder them together with the other leads and then uh, shrink wrap them or uh, uh, not shrink wrap but shrink tubing uh, so in case uh, I don't like these and I want to go back to the other ones uh, that I can but uh, I don't know why I would want to so uh, they look kind of funky when you're out here okay. got the uh, both the lenses in now I've got the uh, bulb for this side in. Uh, got my some uh, protection on it, and I uh, got my uh, clips all wired up and sealed off, and the bulb sealed, and the ring back on. So now I'll go ahead, and you can kind of see in there the uh, yellow glow. Uh, when you do this, you're going to need to take the bolt off in the front. There's two bolts on each side to hold the front of the lens in. Also, so that lets this bend out. screw right down here in this little projection because that will let you bend this out because the screw that's up in behind here is a real pain. Uh, I'd be half tempted to drill it out and put a bolt and nut in and come in from the outside if I knew I was going to have to do a lot of this because it's a real pain in the ass to get that. you got to have a real short stubby screwdriver to get that screw home. So... Uh, the one on top isn't bad at all, but uh, so I got them in. We'll uh, be firing up here in a second. Uh, you do have to. Uh, you don't have to take the mirrors or this front off, uh, but you do have to take this off, the nose piece, because it's got the two little pop rivets on the bottom, and to pull it off in order for the yellow uh, panels here to spread apart. So let me uh, go ahead and put everything back together on uh, the other bolt, and we'll uh, call it good. Got her done. Don't she look cool? Fastest T-Max in the USA.